Hello again and welcome to another video. In this video we'll be creating a simple and clustered box plot in IBM SPSS 26. For this video I prepared two data sets because I want to show you two different ways of doing the box plot. So this is the same example we used in earlier videos and we're going to create the box plot separately for male and female. To do that we can go to graphs, legacy dialogues, and you can see here that we have box plot. I'm going to choose the simple box plot and make sure you choose summaries of separate variables. Click on define. Let's start with the mail. You can choose the options here. We don't want to change anything, let's keep the default, click OK, and we have the box plot which shows the maximum, minimum, first, second, third quartile, and of course you can change anything you want by double clicking on the chart. And similar to that with other charts, you can display labels. Put the case number, values, you can format it, you can change the fill, folder, textile. So similar to what we did with the box, sort of the R and pie chart. Another thing you can do, and you can transpose this to look at horizontal instead of vertically so you go over here and now you have horizontal box plot. Let's close this. You can see that the effects are here. Now let's go and create box plot for female. So just to repeat the procedure, graphs, legacy dialogues, box plot, Fine. Let's remove the male and grab the female and click OK. And you will see that we have the box plot for female. Now let me go to the data set and let's change one of the male to 90 for example just to see if we have, if this would be an outlier, and how's the outlier displayed in SPSS. So we're going to go to Legacy Dialog, box plot, same idea. We're going to remove the female, tell the male, and click OK. Now you can see that the box plot Box plot stops at the next highest value. The line doesn't extend to the outlier. The outlier is displayed as a circle and it shows you the number at the value, the number or the data number that has the outlier, which is 13. So if you go to back to the data set, you will see in 13 we have the outlier, which is 90. And that's what's displayed over here. But the value is 90. And it's in the 13th position in your data set. This is how it displays outlier. The other thing I want to show you in this video is how we can create box plot for different factors and we put them, as we say, clustered side by side. For this, we're going to go to different place. We're going to go to analyze. Descriptive Statistics and Explore. So, let's make this. So we're going to add the dependent list, which is the values, which is age. And I want to factor them by gender, because I have male and female. So if you have more than one category, you can factor them by, sorry, by these categories. Then if you have two or more categories, it will create a box plot for each one of them. 
Similar to when we did the stem and leaf, make sure you choose only the plots because we don't want any statistics. But if you want both, you can check that. Make sure the plot you choose the box plot. We don't want stem and leaf or histogram. Click continue. And if you want any statistics, you go over here and you choose the statistics that you want. In our case, let's make it simple and just choose the plots and click OK. And you will see now that it creates two box plots side by side, one for female and the other for male. Give us the summary here. We have 12 females and 16 males. And the other thing is, as we saw earlier, we have for the male two outliers, 14 and 15. Let's double check. 14 and 15, both males, and both of them are outliers, 38 and 39. Now we can compare both male and female together. So the difference, which one has higher values, which has smaller values, you can see that male generally longer, except for the outliers, which has a higher median, which has more dispersion, female more than the male, because the interquartile range is higher. Also, we can double click on this, to open the chart editor, and we can do the same thing we did with the previous box plot. So we can transpose it. We prefer to compare them this way because it shows you different view. We can choose one of the box plots and we can change the color. Choose both of them, so we can just select one and change it back to blue. This way you have different colors, you can compare them, male, female, or you can just look at the colors. You can change any of the other properties similar to what we did with the other charts that we did in other videos. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos coming on how to use SPSS as well as Excel videos.